From the Black Tuesday disaster of 1967 to more recent blazes, residents in Greater Hobart are all too familiar with the risk of bushfires. I've seen a few big fires up here, but you know, as it's going now, um, if it goes off, it will go off big time. Ken Fishwick has lived in the Hobart suburb of Ferntree for 50 years and understands the danger of living so close to the bush. I honestly think when Ferntree goes, it will be like a bomb going off. It really will. A new interactive map has been developed to highlight just how exposed homes are in the Hobart, Glenorchy and Kingborough council areas. The old tools that were used previously are not going to be adequate for the future. Uh, we will need new approaches, new innovations. The online tool allows residents to zoom in on their properties to assess their risk rating based on surrounding vegetation and the slope of terrain, although it doesn't factor in the risk of ember attacks. It's really a mitigation tool, it's not an operational tool, but it's really for planning and preparedness. Across Greater Hobart, more than 1,100 dwellings have a risk rating of moderate to extreme, with Ferntree topping the list with 154 homes, followed by Margate, Kingston, Kettering and South Hobart. As summer kicks in, authorities are urging residents to take note of just how exposed their properties are to the risk of bushfires and to use that information to prepare for any situation. For now, GeoNeon's risk map only covers Greater Hobart, but the developers hope to expand it elsewhere in the future. Jono Gibson, ABC News.